I recognize that this is the city of independence and everything that this community has done for this team, but we want to tell people about this. I, I have brought people to games over the last few months, and when they come in, they said, I had no idea this was here, this existed. So those are sort of the short-term goals, uh, but also I think anything we can do to help you, uh, the fan, the sponsors, the community, build this brand, we're here to do it. One thing I would say is that We've taken a step to fit into the big picture of hockey, um, which was done when the team went from the CHL to the ECHL. There's very, you know, there's very clear alignment and affiliations with NHL teams, American Hockey League teams, and ECHL teams. So that's a good first step for Kansas City, I think. Um, and that really was not done on my watch. It was done just a few months ago. Uh, we have, to the best of our knowledge, I think four <laughs> sheets of ice in Kansas City. So. I think if we could increase that 50% in a fairly expedient and straightforward manner, we'd be doing a lot. We, we need to be able to attract um, national tournaments and things like that for hockey, get teams from St. Louis to come play here or from Chicago or from Omaha or those places, as opposed to our team having to export themselves and constantly be on the road. I, I was talking to somebody, I can't remember who it was, that said every weekend um, they're driving 8, 10, 12 hours a a weekend to go play youth hockey in other markets. So I think that, that would be the short-term vision. And it, it's great to dream, but I think we also have to be realistic about what a market can handle and absorb. And let's see what happens. We need to get we need to get kids on the ice. We need to get we need to create scarcity just in this arena for the tickets, I think. I think that would be a great thing is this is the thing to go to and uh, if you haven't been to a game and most of you probably have here, it's a great thing to go to. It's a lot of fun. Well what I mean is I think NHL teams it's a difficult business. It's an extremely difficult business, and I think there's, there's, a, there would be a huge amount of risk that would be taken in markets to put in an NHL team at this point, because they've had some some struggles for sure. We just walked in here and made an appointment to see Brent, and looked around and said, "Wow, this is fantastic." And then uh, courted a little bit, and things got cold for a little while, <laughs> no pun intended, and then uh, we came back around and uh, got serious about it and said, look, we think this is, they've done such a great job, and you know, you look at the economics, you do all your due diligence, due diligence and things like that, you get to know people, you get to understand the relationships and how you want to go forward, and I would add one thing that, you know, was very important for us in the negotiations to make sure that Brent Thiessen was uh, awarded a new contract, so he did. We did go forward with him with a new contract, which was very important for us.